Now, as the Lakers went through a major restructuring of their roster following the 2004 campaign, Fisher sought out greener pastures, but returned to L.A. in time for the 2007-2008 season. Not much was expected, but when the Lakers acquired Pau Gasol, suddenly they were contenders again. L.A. would eventually fall to Boston in the 2008 NBA Finals, but they fought their way back the following year. And while facing an Orlando Magic team desperate to knot the series at two games apiece, Derek Fisher did not flinch when given a chance to push them to the brink of elimination. In the road purple, Lakers work to our left with Kobe. 20 feet away, guarded by Petrus, rises up to shoot and hits. And here we go again. Jab stepping, driving right to the basket. Off balance, bank is in, and one. But while Kobe's scoring had set the tone for the Lakers, Orlando superstar put his stamp on the game with defense, and the long arm of Dwight Howard would lift his entire team. Blocked by Howard, his first rejection of the game. He is blocking and intimidating. This is how you compete on a defensive end. Give up nothing. Blocked by Howard, his third block of the night, and it goes to Rafer Alston. Howard's having a great game. Alston drives it Fisher to the right, baseline. Whoa! Oh! oh, oh. A familiar theme was playing out for the Lakers. An opponent in trouble had come back to life, and it seemed they were only getting stronger. This is the largest lead of the finals for Orlando. Lakers are in trouble, aren't they? I think so. The whole mood of the locker room was just relax, play, take a deep breath. You know, we're not out this game. Everybody was just like, be aggressive. And so that's what I did. Trevor Ariza had emerged as a playoff hero, and he ignited a Laker comeback. And taken away by Trevor. Works past Jordan Lou to the basket with a right hand dunk. Great play. Trevor Ariza, many big plays in this one. The guy wants it more than everybody in a white jersey. Ariza on the wing now recognizes, fires a three and buries it with one to shoot. He has tied the game at 82. But the resilient Magic regained the lead and they would try to hang on in the final minutes. Blocked by Howard. That's an NBA Finals record. Nine blocks in the game. Under two minutes remaining. Can they finish it off and tie the series? Pino Turkoglu does it again. The Magic up by five. This crowd in a frenzy right now. Lakers with a final gasp. Ryan across midcourt, down five, spins in the lane. Beautiful pass to Soul. Right hand dunk, 87-84. One possession game. We're at home to tie up the NBA Finals. That's the opportunity we have right now. Now let's go get it. Pito with the ball, 14 seconds left. Dumps into Howard. He catches underneath, wants to go up. We've got a foul called. 11 and one-tenths of a second remaining. The Magic 87, the Lakers 84. What a roller coaster ride. Game four here at Amway Arena. Can he make it a two possession game? If Dwight Howard could make just one of his two free throws, the game would be out of reach and the series would be all even. No good. Hits the front rim twice. with 10.4 remaining. L.A. will have a final opportunity here. Though the door was still open, the Lakers would need some last-second heroics, and all eyes were on Kobe Bryant. Magic 87, Lakers 84. You know number 24 is getting the ball in this situation. Trevor unguarded, throws into Kobe, jump pass up the side to Ariza, across the floor to Fisher. With seven seconds left, Fisher launches a three. It's good! <laughs> Playing his 30th game in the finals, Derek Fisher buries a triple, and we're all square at 87. He's got a lot of heart. And I think one of the things that the guys take from him is his ability to make big shots and not to be afraid to take big shots. Derek Fisher ties it with 4.6 remaining. D. Fish is the ultimate pro. He stays confident, he stays calm. He knocks down big shots he's done in his whole career. I saw him kind of square up Nelson and get ready to step into that three. And I was like, oh, this is going to go in. And it was nothing but net. Fisher, another clutch three-pointer. He's hit so many in his playoff career. 
And these fans looking on in stunned disbelief. And for the first time in 25 years, we'll have two overtime games in the same final series. Being down 12 at the half and we battle back to take that kind of shot and make that kind of shot. That's what you dream about. That's what you always want to be. You always want to be the guy that comes through. Get rid of the frustration. Take a deep breath. We got to play harder. Come on. Take the play. You got the play. You got the shots. You got the game. Make the play. Having earned a second chance, the Lakers weren't about to let it slip away. As overtime began, everyone knew the ball would be in the hands of Kobe. But that didn't make it any easier for the Magic to stop him. Bryant's got 30. Kobe Bryant pulls up. It's good again. Back to back jumpers. And the Lakers regain the lead. Hey, baby. Hey, Howard. Hey, finish the game. Yes, yes, let's get another stop. Yes, finish the game. But when it came to providing the finishing touch, Bryant would defer to the teammate who had gotten him there. Bryant, up top to Fisher, straight on three, punch it in! Derek Fisher taking Orlando's heart yet again. And they are silenced in Orlando. The Orlando Magic blow a five-point lead in the final minute 36 of regulation. Derek Fisher hits a huge three, and the Lakers outscore the Magic by eight in overtime. They are one win from their 15th NBA championship. In the locker room, I was kind of teasing him a little bit because, you know, he was 0 for 5 on three-pointers until he made those last two. But that's Derek, though. You know, he just has supreme confidence. Vicious. The consummate professional. He, he's our leader. He's what really keeps us going. You know, whenever we need to hear some inspiration or, or just put us right back in our place mentally, he's always the one to voice it vocally. One thing, one thing, one thing. Real quick. In, in 2000, we won the championship in, against Indiana. And in game five, we, we assumed that Indiana was going to lay down. And we went in there and got kicked royally by 30 points. So Sunday, when we show up here, the same determination, fight, grit, belief, confidence, we got to show up with that again on Sunday. They're not going to quit. You don't get this far and quit. So let's enjoy this. But, hey, Sunday, man. One more. One more.